Hi, this video is all about Freehand SQL, which is one of the connector in a web intelligence rich client. So, Freehand SQL is one of the uh, data source. Like as you know, we have a universe, Bex, Excel, Analysis View, Text Document, even Web Services. This new add-on Freehand SQL has been available from 4.1 and latest service packs onwards. Alright, using this freehand SQL, we can easily connect any data sources with just a simple SQL statements. So if you want to create a report with simple SQL statements to point any data sources, you should have a connection. So you can create a connection on the IDT layer and you can deploy to the repository. Alright, we have a connection folder. So underneath you can create a connection to any data sources so based on the connection we can create a freehand sql sql statements all right here i'm going to choose my connection from this uh, list of connections so it is, it is retrieving all the list here connection i'm going to choose hana hana database is my connection so there i have a uh, uh, few views so I'm going to access one of the view using SQL statements alright so if I'm accessing SAP HANA I no need to develop any universe on top of HANA and no need to use that universe as a source for report I can directly write a report on my SQL uh, console or uh, freehand SQL console with the help of uh, sorry with the help of freehand sql console or uh, data source to point sap hana all right so here this is my view i have a few different uh, dimensions and measures and uh, once i created a universe it is going to create a table on sysbac schema so i can access that table as a simple uh, select statement so the output of this view and uh, this select statement will be same for example, I will show the output of this particular HANA view. So I can see the output like this, the different column and uh, each column has uh, more number of records. I can get the same value by running the simple select statements. Alright, I am going to use this select statement as a source for my freehand SQL. So if I say star, it is going to consider all the columns. So just validate and click OK. So once you have passed the SQL statements, it is going to give you the result object. So as you familiar to accessing the universe, you will be having a different layouts like result objects, uh, query filter, and you will be having a data preview. As we are directly accessing SAP HANA view or table, then the look and feel will have a only limited options so there there won't be any option to filter it out so you can filter through sql statement itself using var function all right so here you can check the qualification type and aggregate functions so partner id actually uh, id is a dimension but uh, here i just intentionally fixed my data type as integer as you can see 12 1 2 so I just need to change. So I'm just showing how to change the data type in web layer itself. So change the data type to dimension. So it is going to be string. So it has changed to dimension. All right, now run this query. So now we got the results. So if I refresh, it is going to directly refresh the SQL statement and it is going to fetch the data directly from SAP HANA. So there is no intermediate universe layer. Alright, thank you.